Hi my loving Tiffany Thinks family. Today is the day that I have my port removed so it's a great day. It's a good day because I've been waiting a very long time and I feel like the port, I don't need it anymore so it shouldn't be in my body. I've been using the, if you watched my last video then you know about the bacterial situation. So I have been using this three times a day um, and it's called Mupiracin. Mupiracin. So I just put it in my nose and then I hold it in like that. I'm not going to show you. I might show you. I don't know. I hold it in case. I'm going to now go drop my darling off to the train station. I'm going to drop him off and then come back home and then we shall chat some more. Here at the train station, I might drop Matt off actually. <laughs> I'm going to go drop him off. I'm going to collect the tickets here. Okay. Love you, love you. I dropped Matt off, so that's a tick, tick, tick. Um, I'm happy to do that because I feel like he was going to go on his own and now that I can drive, I'm like, I'll drop you, I'll drop you. I just feel like I am really enjoying driving and kind of doing things for other people is making me really happy because I feel like I, I like, I feel like I owe Amma and Matt and my family and friends a lot, a lot, a lot because they got me through a lot, especially Amma and Matt. You guys saw, like, they helped me so, so, so much. Like, there was never a time where they would say no. Like, they both kind of helped me in different ways. And so I feel like I just want to give back and, yeah. I am going to have a little snooze, I think. I got the water bottle. I think I spoke about this in my last video or one of the videos, but basically every time I'm in bed and I'm asleep, I always kind of get up and I have a little bit of water and I always say to Matt, darling, I find it so annoying like to open the lid and drink because I just feel like I just want to wake up, drink the drink my water and go to sleep. Like, I just want a straw. And so he ordered this for me and he got me the blue. We got this blue colour. Just so easy for me to kind of reach out drink it and then go to sleep again you know you guys know like for me in the middle of the night there's a lot going on like i have to get up to kind of sort my stoma bag out like empty it and things and so if it means that i can just drink water in bed and not have to get up again to get water night times for me are a little bit hectic because of the stoma but it's fine i'm just, again it's just getting used to getting used to it and um I think some people's stoma is like active during the day, in the afternoon. For me, it's like night time. So um, it's not too bad. Honestly, I've, I've really kind of am getting used to it. And it's just one of those things like not getting a full night's sleep. But yeah, it is what it is. I might have a little snooze or no, I'll go downstairs and make a coffee. I think let's do that. Cheers. I have really been loving drinking coconut milk. I was gonna have a coffee, but then I thought, you know what? I haven't had anything to eat and I hate, I don't wanna like start the day off with coffee. I always feel like it really messes up with my stomach and the stoma, so this is really nice. This is um, coconut milk. This is really nice and really refreshing and it's really creamy as well. <laughs> Not sure what to have for breakfast. I feel like where I woke up quite early today, um, I think where I woke up really hung- really hungry? I think where I woke up really early, I'm not very hungry. I think I will get hungry, maybe after, you know, after they remove the port, I'll have something to eat then. You know what I did? I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but you know for the fridge, I made the temperature on the fridge so it's colder. Um, so it was on number three and now it's on number four. So it's making everything in there really nice and cold and where it's a little bit warmer, I just like colder, like this tastes really nice and cooling. But I'm not sure if that's, if you're allowed to do that for the fridge, like are you allowed to change the temperature? I don't know, but that's what I've done anyways. <laughs> Let's put this away. Today, I wonder if I get my blood test results because you know, if you watched my last video, they took blood tests to check like my platelet level, but they haven't called me. So I'm thinking, the infection should be okay because if I had a really bad infection then they wouldn't do the port removal right that's kind of my thought process I haven't had a call from anyone so yeah we'll see 
we'll just see. I was watching Harry Potter and then I had a little snooze, like I fell asleep on the sofa, which is good. I think I was tired, but I was kind of fighting it. Um, and you know, Harry Potter, just putting it on, it's just so nice having Harry Potter on Netflix. It's honestly, it just changes everything. Because normally I would have friends on in the background when I feel a bit like snoozy and I wanna have something on in the background. I usually put friends on. So to have Harry Potter on, it's just like, it's just making me so, so happy. I'm gonna get ready now because I feel like, what time is it? Yeah, it's, a, it's time for me to go get ready um, to go to the hospital. I'm feeling a little bit like, not anxious, I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know what the word is, like, oh my goodness, it's happening, like, um, it's happening. That, like, I'm having my cancer port removal today. I'm having my cancer port removal. The port that I that helped me through chemo is being removed. Like I had the pick line for a little while, but the port line the port has been with me kind of from the beginning, right? So from the beginning I've had the port. So I had to have the port done first and then have chemo. Um if you watch that video, you'll know you'll see me having the port being put in where they cut me, like cut a little place and then put the port in and then they closed, stitched me up. Um, and then I had chemo. So I feel like the port has been through the whole journey, right? Whereas my pick, I only got it. The pick's removed now. You guys would know if you've been on my channel. The pick kind of only happened like halfway through, I want to say, like after I had the C. diff. Is it after I had the C. diff? Yeah, it was after I had the C. diff. They put the pick in. So, yeah, it's crazy that my port is being removed now. And it just means that, it, it honestly means it's all over. You know, it's all over. You know, I was thinking about this, right? You know, um, the hospital, they said, because I signed up to volunteer and they usually say, wait six months before you've had like treatment. And um, they usually tell their patients who've gone through cancer, wait six months before you start volunteering because um, it might be difficult, you know, and I kind of get it. So I feel like by the time everything gets processed because they do a DBS check, all the reference checks and everything, so you have to give like references. I gave them like work details to speak to my managers and things like that so that they can get a reference. So by the time everything is kind of like checked over, it will be six months. Because where I kind of signed up to do the volunteering um it's good that by the time everything gets checked over it will be six months or will be coming to six months so i feel like it's what they recommend so that will be kind of a good time to start if that's what they recommend because i wanted to do it straight away like as soon as i went for the informal interview i wanted to kind of start straight away i didn't realize there's so many kind of things that would be checked which is good it's just really really good so it's not everything's done like properly i just thought anyone could volunteer but it's kind of like a process it's like going getting a job really so um yeah i think I think everything happens for a reason and sometimes I do rush things and I'm like, I want to be a volunteer straight away and it doesn't happen like that. I do believe everything is like God's timing and I just have to trust and kind of go with the flow when it comes to like life. Um, I guess that's for everyone, right? Whether you believe in God or not, it's just kind of like go with the flow and see what happens. <laughs> I'm here to return a parcel. This morning, before I dropped my darling off, he told me can you drop that part? He asked me, can you drop that parcel off for me? And I said, yes. And then I completely forgot and I came home. So I thought before I go to the hospital, I bet I better drop the parcel off. And I'm so annoyed at myself. I left my water bottle at home and I really don't like buying water bottles, but I need, I need water. So I'm also going to buy a water bottle. Where's my card? Oh, here it is. Let me get the packaging. I think he said they're like cycling shoes that need to get returned or something. The sun's coming out, so I just took my shirt thing off and I threw it at the back. Um, I I didn't I couldn't justify buying water. I don't know what it was. I think it's where I'm thinking. So weird. I couldn't justify buying water because you guys know I have so many like tumblers at home, um, and so I just I didn't buy water. I bought. 
coconut water because I felt like I can justify buying coconut water and I bought one of these. I haven't had one of these in a long time. It's the Moju Ginger Shot. I used to have this before work and um, it's just made me realise that I need to start making ginger shots again because at one point I was making it all the time. This ha says it's got apple, ginger root, 20% lemon, cherry powder. Each time I made my own ginger shot, you guys would know, I... Can you see that? So... Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I want to try it because when I make it, I don't like the taste of it. And I remember, I never used to like the taste of this either, but it wasn't as bad as mine. Like, mine was really, really bitter. I need to start... I think where they've... Sorry, I thought there was a bug in here. I feel like where they put apple in it, it doesn't say how many apples. Um... 20% ginger root. Maybe I put way too much ginger. Cheers. Mmm. This is not as bad as mine, but oh my goodness. Mmm. It still cuts the throat. It does cut the throat. I love this little bottle, it's so cute. Maybe all ginger shots aren't meant to taste nice. Yeah, you know what? You have ginger shots, not for the taste, but just because it's goodness. Um, and I have to remember that. Because <laughs> each time I have a ginger shot, I expect it to be sweet. I don't know why. Mmm, coconut water's nice. I'm going to turn the camera off because there's people next to me. I don't know if you can see. There's people right next to me. I want to turn the camera off, I want to turn the camera off. <laughs> okay, they've gone. I was not subtle at all. And when they passed me, I was like looking down like this. <laughs> okay, let's go to the hospital. I'm still quite early. Um, I'm going to put a podcast on actually. Um, because I want to listen to something whilst I'm driving. Because music is good. Like I like listening to music and singing along. But listening to a podcast, it just feels like you're like in a conversation with someone. I like, like I like listening to podcasts. Let's listen to, who should we listen to? Jay Shetty? Let's do, I don't like listening to like business side of things. Like I like listening to like how to change your life by changing your brain. Like I like that kind of thing. Like I like things that, how to handle negative opinions of others and turning anxiety into creativity. Yes. Let's listen to that. If you guys listen to podcasts, please, please, please recommend me some. Um, because it'll be good for when I'm driving. Is that working? Feels like you're alone in those times. Port removal, tick, tick, tick. Ah! This honestly doesn't feel real, like I'm having it removed. That means no more chemo. No more chemo. I need to look for some parking. I'm a little bit early and just looking at the front of the hospital here and yeah life is crazy isn't it like life is crazy I know some people don't understand like this because you might never ever have to go for any of this which is amazing like if you never ever have to deal with cancer or if you like you might know someone like I feel like you might know someone who's had cancer or ha having tests for cancer or having their port put in or having their port removed like it's it is a whole journey a whole journey like I went through school I went through university I went through like relationships and things like that and I feel like this journey is the biggest like life lesson for me like it puts so much into perspective and it changes you completely like I feel like I started this journey a completely different person to how I'm ending it so it breaks my heart because I feel like not everyone um 
gets this ending like it's really like it's hard it's hard to process that because it's like my outcome might have been different it might have been different if my diagnosis was later like you already know if you've been on my channel my diagnosis was late it was late it was picked up late and um if my second biopsy didn't come back as cancer and then you know like my first biopsy if you know my cancer story my cancer journey my first biopsy came back as non-cancerous and then my second set came back can cancerous and things could have been a lot different a hot flush <laughs> you know where i'm thinking about it i'm getting a hot flush here this is like a big reason like to why i want to volunteer um because i feel like i know i know what it's like going in and going for your appointments going for a scan waiting for results having chemo having radiotherapy having surgery i feel like i've done i've done it all right i feel like getting bad news getting good news so I feel like volunteering, I could help someone, you know, I might be able to help someone, even if I can be like, just there for someone going through it, like, that would be good, right? Like, because I had all the help, I had everyone, I had you guys, I had Amma, my darling, my family, my friends, and to come on, come to these appointments and come to this hospital on your own, it's, it's scary, it's scary, and I know not everyone has or had what I had, have, um, so I think it's so important that, like, I can, I can be that person for someone else, who knows, right, who knows what comes from it, but, um, I'm more excited to be a volunteer than I am to go back to work. Going back to work is nice because I'll have a little bit of structure and I enjoy my job, but I think coming here as a volunteer will mean a lot more. But I also love the eyes as well, like I like my job too, so it'll be nice to be able to do both and um, yeah. I know some people get really annoyed with me when I talk about like my cancer journey or my life or I can't explain it like this is my life like coming to the hospital reflecting and this is genuinely what goes on in my mind and I can't be someone else I'm I'm gonna talk about it because I went through it and um I don't think I guess for the person or people that say Tiffany like get over it I guess you've never been through something like your life like where your life depends on it I don't know or maybe you're just a different person to me like some people get really annoyed that I talk about it and I'm like huh like I don't get it how can you be annoyed the fact that I'm reflecting on what my life was like I lived through cancer like I lived I lived it every day I can't explain it like I lived it so for me to come back here and really think oh my goodness like you know like I'm allowed to talk about it and this is what goes on in my mind so I don't know I feel like I can't change who I am and I'm sorry like if it triggers you that I still talk about it but I don't know I didn't ever think I was going to get to this point genuinely I didn't think I was going to get to this point where I'm driving to the hospital on my own I'm having my port removed I'm having scans coming up but do you know like everything is clear and I never ever thought I'd get to this point and I never thought I couldn't see an end point and so I'm sorry that it annoys you that I'm talking about all of this I'm sorry but you don't need to watch you know I always say this like you don't need to watch if you don't like any of this it's fine I always feel like sometimes I should like cut this out or cut that out Let me, sorry someone's going through yeah I always feel like I should cut this out or cut that out because people get annoyed when I talk about it but it, it's part of my life now this is like part of my life journey and I do reflect I do reflect on things and that's okay I think I never ever like feel like I'm doing this alone I've never felt like that I've always felt that you've been with me from the beginning so I really 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 appreciate you all um, even those of you that are like 
Tiffany, stop diddling the left. I appreciate you being here and, um, yeah. Let's go and get this port removed. Let's say goodbye to the port. And let's all say goodbye port. Look at this little bulge. So this is the before. <laughs> I'll show you the after when I come out. So can you see here, can you see this mark? This was my port. No, this was my pick line, sorry. And this is my port. If it's focused, yeah, you can kind of see it, can't you? Like here and this mark. So I think the mark will just be like this. Here. So you know what, I'm going to look symmetrical. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, I'm wearing the We Got This t-shirt. And I always say, whenever I go to the hospital, you've got to wear the We Got This merch. There's a link down in the description box, as always. Do you know why I'm putting this on? Because oh, I've got the receipt in here. Do you know where I returned Matt's package? I've got the receipt in here, I'm going to leave that in here because he will ask me for that. <laughs> no, I'm putting this on because when I come out, I might have like a like a bandage thing over the arm, so I don't want that to be on show. I have parked my car nicely today. <laughs> it's like straight. <laughs> I need to go to where I had my chemo, so the medical day unit. I haven't been there in a while, so let's do this. We got this, we got this. <laughs> I just came out to sit outside because they're running a little bit late um, and they told me to come back in about half an hour so I thought I was gonna go sit in my car and like I've got my laptop in my car so I thought I should like do like a bit of studying or a little bit of editing but then I thought you know what it'll be nice just to sit out here um, and not do anything sometimes it's okay not to do anything at all right like I can just sit here and appreciate the nice weather and the grass and this bench <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of the hospital here near this tree I think I took an Instagram picture one time yeah I think I did you know the time I had C. diff and they let me come outside um, yeah so I'm just sitting out here this isn't the same bench um, with the quote if you know what I'm talking about, you know that bench is over there and someone else is sitting on it, so that's okay. I'm just walking around here um, where I was sitting on the bench. I was putting way too much pressure on my bum and it just started to hurt, so I'm just going to walk around instead. I'm going in now. Crazy things just happened. I'm just on my phone, right? And it looks like someone's taken my bank card. I must have dropped it when I went to the shops. You know where I bought the ginger shot and um, my coconut water? I think someone, I must have dropped my card. Um, so I just, I just got a notification that someone's using my card. So I've had to freeze everything. I've had to, let me take this off. I'm getting a hot flush, but basically someone's using my bank card, but I've frozen it now. Um, so they can't need to call the bank after this. Call to clean. This was in me. <laughs> Gemma, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this um, Gemma put the pool in for me and now she removed it. So thank you so no much. Worries, Honestly, you thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> oh. Honestly, she, oh, I had seen her a few times around the hospital and have her take my port out as well. It's like a full circle. Like I told her, like when I first had it done, I didn't think I was going to get to this point where I'm coming back to have it removed. I didn't, it, she was like, yeah, she remembers that conversation we had because at that point I was a bit, we were talking about my lungs and yeah, so it's just, it feels kind of hectic. It feels kind of hectic. I'll talk to you when I get in the car, <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm in the car and I had such an emotional moment in so the vascular team, with the vascular team. Um, I was just saying how like it feels incredible to have my port removed and I did take a little snippet of it, so I'm sorry if you're a bit squeamish. Um, 
but I would have put a warning but can you believe that was in here like and I have to keep this area I, I'm not allowed to remove this for a week and she's also given me a dressing cover so when I have a shower um, I will have this and I remember using this when I first had it done. Now I need to call the bank and see who's trying to hack me. It's so weird because when I was waiting, it came up like my bank statement and I was like, what? And then I realized, you know what had happened? When I got in the car, it was so hot. I put my um, card in this pocket, right? I put it in this pocket and I took my, my thing off and I chucked it at the back. And I think when I chucked it at the back, my card fell out. So I need to call my bank and say, I froze my um, account when this was happening my brother-in-law calls me and he goes hi how's it going how's the hospital appointment and I'm like I'm here but someone's using my bank card and he's like what do you mean I was like someone's using my bank card and he's like okay and I'm like sweating because you guys know like I get a hot flush when I'm like really like anxious or worried I get a hot flush straight away and he's like okay Tiffany don't worry you just need to freeze your card and I'm like how do I do that and he goes go on the app and like he told me how to do it but the whole time I was like ah. <laughs> but yeah let me call the bank now <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sort all this out and I'm gonna drive to my sister's because I every time I'm here I go to my sister's because it's really close and Amma's there as well and the kids so it'll be lovely to see them this is like all numb and apparently after four hours is gonna start hurting and I remember it was the same when I um had the port put in i remember being like oh it's fine it's absolutely fine and then in the evening i was like ouch ouch <laughs> i'm still on the phone to the bank what a nightmare Emma. this is taking longer than i thought just snacking on some strawberries thank you thank so you much. much thank you Emma. i'm coming i'm coming okay that's all sorted that was really that took so much longer than i thought i thought it was going to be a quick like hello can i have a new card but no there was way more to it so at least it's done now let's go see the kiddies i put ella to sleep so she's having a little snooze and my arm is aching now i think the anesthetic is wearing off and i'm like all of a sudden this arms this arm feels heavy good thing i'm right-handed because I can just let my left hand like just relax. I've just been on my laptop, but I'm gonna put the laptop away now and I think I'm gonna watch some TV. I really wish I bought my book, but I didn't bring my book, so I'm gonna watch some TV. This is the first time I put Ella to sleep and when Aston was a baby, I was there all the time and I was always putting him to sleep, changing his nappy and I feel like with Ella, I haven't done that like this is the first time like I put her to sleep you know and it's just like such a nice feeling I'm gonna put you down here um I'm gonna end the video here um wait for everyone to come back my sister I've messaged my sister and she said that should be Ella for the night like she won't wake up till the morning it's such an early bedtime but I think that's good just I think it's so important to sleep um and I'm going to have an early night tonight as well. Yes, I am. What time is your bedtime? I want to change and like kind of make my bedtime like 9.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock. I need to change my bedtime. I might, yeah, I'm going to try and figure the bed situation out. Because where I'm waking up in the middle of the night, um, like to empty my bag and like drink water and things like that, I feel like it's disturbed sleep and I, I've accepted that's what it's going to be like forever now it's always going to be slightly disturbed I'm never going to have a full night's sleep because of the stoma um, but that's okay because I'd rather have like, I'm not complaining I'm not complaining <laughs> I need to kind of figure out a sleeping situation because where I like waking up earlier but then I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I need to kind of figure it out. And when I figure it out, I'll let you know what, I, what I've ended up doing in regards to bedtime. Um, I'm going to go now because I'm just going to shut off. I'm going to shut my laptop. I'm going to put on some TV. I might even just put like relaxing jazz music. I've got my bullet journal here as well. Um, I might just sit here and just kind of doodle in my bullet journal. I've been enjoying like doodling and yeah I'm not like I can't draw at all but I like doing like little patterns and 
yeah, I'm gonna do that. Put relaxing music on. That's what I'm gonna do. Have me time before everyone gets back. Um, and then I'm gonna go home. Have a shower. I'm gonna, I have to remember not to put any water on this for a week. So I've got the, I need to remind myself that this cannot get wet for a week. Can you see it's bruised? She said that's gonna happen. Can you see? that it's like bruised and she said that will happen ow i won't put my hand down <laughs> yeah so she said it's going to be bruised so um i just need to like make sure there's no water on there for a week i love you all a lot a lot a lot thank you honestly like i can't tell you how much i want to say thank you to you because i know i say it in all of my videos but you're with me all the time. I just feel like I can just talk to you about anything. Like, I can talk about the bruise on my arm. I can talk about anything. <laughs> so thank you for allowing me to be me. And thank you for still being here. I've been on YouTube. Like, I've been on and off on YouTube, haven't I? Like, I don't know how long you've been here. But I think the majority of you kind of started like watching me when I put out my cancer video um, but then there's there's some of you that have been here for loads and loads and loads of years and before I would make videos and then I'll take a little break and I'll focus on something else and I don't know I found it hard to juggle like YouTube and like work or YouTube and studying and or YouTube and like moving out to Tunbridge or you know I really struggled to do both Whereas now, I find it, I don't find it difficult. Like, I feel like I want you to be a part of everything now, and I hope that's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to actually go for real. I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot. My Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join my loving Tiffany Thinks family if you want. And I will see you in my next video. I'm always trying to figure out what my next video, whether it's Tuesday, Thursday or Sunday, but I kind of don't know, like, because you guys know these videos are pre-recorded. So I'm thinking it'll be Tuesday. If it's not Tuesday, it'll be Thursday or Sunday. Okay, I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. Bye.